Yo, what is going on guys, Mr. Tebow here, and today we're playing some Recipe for Disaster. Big shout out to uh, the developers at Dapper Penguin Studios. They've kindly hooked me up with a key to play this game. It's released on the 4th of November, which is the day I'm recording this. Uh, it's going to be £14.99 on Steam or $16.99 in dollars or euros, I believe. Um, go grab yourself a copy if you like simulation and management games. So it's a restaurant based management game you have to build run and look after your own restaurant lots of different uh, elements to it lots to get stuck into and that's what we're going to do right now guys before we do that smash that like button subscribe if you've not uh, already and turn on your notification bell be able to keep up with this and everything else i post in the future okay now as you see at the top chef t well, that's my avatar let's check this out look at him I feel like a beast of a chef. His beard's better than mine, but, you know. So that's me. I'm going to go new game. I'm going to go tutorial, learn the ropes. I think that's the best place to start with any game. I'm going to go basic tutorial. Let's get cooking or burning. <laughs> that's the, uh, the picture is depicting right now. Okay, the first step to mastery. The big day has come. Is the food entry really calling? The pressure will be great, uh, but hopefully you'll be able to handle it. Click and drag this panel to move around. There you go, we've moved that around. Next. Use WASD to look around, or you can move the mouse to the edge of the screen instead. And the mouse wheel to... And then here, okay, so we can zoom in and out. You can go quite close in, I like that. So you can look at the detail and then you can rotate. Love that, nice, easy controls. Uh, let's place the mess. Before doing anything else, select every bit of trash and get rid of it, including that wall section in the middle that sticks out like a sore thumb. You'd have a bunch of tools at the top of the UI and you can hide walls with Z if you need a better view. So that gets rid of the main walls, okay. Let's click the trash. Uh, aha, so you right click on the trash that gets rid. Let's uh, have a look, any more trash there is. Right click, get rid. So now for getting rid of the wall. Um, at the beginning of any level, you always start in build mode. Here you can edit and remove walls. Oh, I was reading that. <laughs> Uh, walls, floors, decoration, appliances, and more. For now, just select the trash piles and get rid of them. And you can select the delete key or right click the object. Did that. There's also a demolish tool which you can select in the toolbar. It's the one that looks like a trash can. Okay, that's fine. But I don't. I was thinking, is it going to be the same for this? Aha! We did it. Nice. Let's move on. Furniture and appliances. One. Uh, now that the place isn't so disgusting, we can get to work. On the build menu, do you see a chair icon? That's the furniture tab, and it's the one with the stove icon that is the appliances tab. Uh, let's add some tables and chairs for the customers. Place a few tables and chairs. So, um, I don't know what the money situation is in this tutorial. Oh, I've got 2,000. Um, so we're going to go... Hmm, what do we do we get fancy? Let's go fancy. Does it tell me what to do? No, okay, we got fancy. That's the kitchen. This is the dining area. So we have one over there. I don't know why I put it near the bathroom. Um And now some chairs. We'll have Ooh, a fancy chair. Don't really like that. Fancy wooden chair. There we go. You can fit four around that table. Bit intimate. They can have four around that one. Okay, so we've done that. Excellent. A deep fire is a good starting appliance. When placing an object, you can use R to rotate it. Cool, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, deep fryer, beast. And we can use R. Yeah, this is cool. I'm liking it. So deep fryer can go there. On the build menu, do you see a painting icon? Yes, I do. Uh, that's the decoration tab. You might want to think about surrounding customer tables with attractive paintings and fresh flowers instead of defry splashing the hot oil everywhere. Okay, 
got napkin holders. Digging that. I mean, they haven't got much room to eat, but... Um, little wall shelf. I can press Z to get the walls up. And then we can rotate around. So they've got a window there. Um, well, then we'll put that there. We don't need to do any more, but we've got quite a bit carried away. <laughs> Next, the yellow star icon at the top right is the ambience overlay, which tells you how appealing or disgusting different areas of your restaurant are. The gray, uh, gr 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 greener the hue, the better the vibe. Oh, it's vibey under this one. Nice. Yeah, they're quite liking it over here too. Okay, that's good. Uh, you need ingredients to make your dishes and your storage is quite empty. Click on the food storage icon at the bottom and request a delivery for some ingredients. Order 10, check him wing. Uh, storage. Oh, this is cool. The so chicken wings here. This is what we can cook at the moment. Chicken wings, it's stored in the freezer by the looks of it. Nice, so I need to order 10 of these. 10. Uh, you don't need to look at the ingredients all day, right? You can close any panel by clicking the X button at the top right. Boom. Uh, it's now time to open the restaurant. When you're ready, hit the open button on the top right. So I can get rid of that. I take it. No? Open. Aha! What's this say? Okay, let's just move on. See the chef portrait at the top? That is your head chef. Right now you're alone, so get used to doing everything by yourself. Click the portrait to select them, or double click to open their character panel, which provides a summary of skills, thoughts, uh, which you'll get to see later. Let's double click it. Chef Mike, let's go. So this is his skills. He's five on the fryer. Five. He's five on everything. Okay, cool. And he's uh, he's good for. Uh, he doesn't need a rest yet. But now the head chef is alone and you'll really don't, you really don't want to have to manually select every little task. Time to set up some automation. Click on the appliances and tables you have placed. Use a plus icon to assign the head chef to them. The AI will now do its job. So I'll click you, then we click that. No. Where was the plus icon? In the appliances and table panels, you can see there are, there are different... I'm confused. Yeah, let me read that properly again. For now, the head chef is alone. No, this one I need to read. Uh, in the appliance and table panels. Where's the appliance and table panels? Oh, no, not that. Whoops, resume. Right, staff. Menu. Oh dear, we don't know where this is. This is not good. Close this. Aha! Okay, we got it now. So I think we should go to you first, with your sat down. Yeah. And then we go to this. Chef Mike's going to the cooker. Chef Mike's going to this. Oh, do we go that? Then that. There we go. He's taking order. Okay, we've got it. We uh, messed about a little bit there. Got a bit lost, but we're, we're good. We're good. We are okay. He just took the order. Look at him. He's having his best time. Got to do everything himself. Poor guy. Uh, a dirty restaurant will not only make your customers mad, but it will also increase the likelihood of fires in the kitchen. We definitely don't want fires. You can clean your restaurant by creating cleaning areas and assigning employees. What did you say? Didn't get time. And assigning up employees to them. To create cleaning areas, click the cleaning button in the toolbar. That's this. So should I make this a cleaning area? Okay done the create and click the create button the green one ah this yeah um in the top yeah okay and then drag a rectangle on the map cleaning area chef mike legend he's doing it though he's got to do everything 
stamina and break. Sure, you want your team to work hard, but they also need to stay healthy. The employee portraits at the uh, top of the screen contain an employee's stamina meter and their break button. Do not let your staff get exhausted, otherwise their performance will suffer. Hey, okay. small test. Can you complete this simple task? I believe in you. If you want to hurry things up, you can go fast forward time in the bottom right. Go, go, go. So I have two tables, right? Okay, we're good. We haven't got anyone else in yet, so. Why is this shouting at me? Yes, the stuff's been delivered. We know that, that's fine. You're going to toilet. Hope you wash your hands. Look at that, we got monies. So you cleared up. Here we come, next customer. You wanna sit down? Let me take your order. What can Chef might get you? Yo, he's done it. That's gonna go second, so you, you should do that anyway. Yeah, he's doing it. Oh, this is good. This is good. We are away. They have them look now. Gotta go in and cook. Next. Calm before the storm. You've done everything right so far. Why won't this go? Uh, I think you're ready for the real challenge. It's time to prove that your experience goes beyond watching irate chefs shouting at hapless restaurant owners. Reality TV and tutorial. So there we go, guys. That is episode one, the tutorial. Uh, we'll leave it here for this one. We're going to play through in the next video. So stay tuned for that one. Let me know in the comments what you think of the game. I really enjoy it. I'm going to be playing some more. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.